Welcome back to Vampire Survivors. In this video, we are going through how to find the Forbidden Scrolls of Morbane. And this one can be done at the very beginning. You can rush in and you can get it done quick. But I'm going to be taking you through the way I did it, which just has a much better success rate. It's going to take you a little bit longer. But I feel if you try and rush things, especially in a game like this, your chance of failure is a lot bigger. So the very first thing you're going to need to do in order to start this off is unlock the level called the Bone Zone. In order to do that, you need to unlock Hyper Mode for three stages. So you can do Mad Forest, the Library and the Dairy Plant. If you just survive 25 minutes on each of those, you would unlock the bone zone as a playable level i used red death as a playable character for this one there's a video coming soon for how to unlock red death but you can do this with pretty much any of the characters in the game i would just recommend getting a powerful weapon for the character you're choosing and that, that's pretty much it in terms of the characters you can basically go in as any there are a few things that you're going to need for this and i recommend playing maybe two to three hours possibly four then you will actually have your hands on this stuff. But the very first thing is you are going to need the Clock Lancet. In order to unlock that as a weapon, you need to pick up the Orologian. I, I don't know how to say it, but I'll put a picture up on screen. It's basically the uh, the little pickup that drops on Mad Forest. I, I don't know if it's on other levels. I've seen it on Mad Forest. It freezes all the enemies in the, like the same spot for 10 seconds. And after you pick that up for the very first time, you will unlock Clock Lancet. Then once you've got Clock Lancet, you're going to need to get your hands on the yellow sign. And if you are struggling to get the yellow sign, there's a video on how to do that on the channel as well. Then once you've got that, you are going to need the gold and silver ring so that you can evolve the Clock Lancet into Infinite Corridor. And with that one, I highly recommend you get your hands on the Arcana Mad Groove, which is number 8. In order to do that one, what you need to do is survive for over 30 minutes in Mad Forest. So basically, you get to the end where Red Death or the Reaper comes in, you will unlock it that way. So jump into the Bone Zone, select Mad Groove so that every two minutes, everything, all pickups and stuff are going to come to you. You will have a couple of Guardians that are going to be protecting the rings, but you can take them out over time. And basically what you want to do is just pick your random weapons, your passives and everything like that, just how you normally would. I highly recommend using the crown to get your XP faster. And then it's just about survival. You just survive until the end. When you are on the bone zone, if you head down to the question mark, that's where this bone pile, also known as, I don't know if it's Sketamari or Skeetamari. I'm going to call it Sketamari. But this bone pile is what you need to defeat in order to get the Forbidden Scrolls of Morbane. And this isn't just a standard enemy, it's resistant to freeze, insta-kill, so if you've got pentagram that doesn't work on it, and it doesn't get debuffed. It starts with over 10,000 HP, and every enemy it comes into sight of, so like basically because it's a pile of bones, and it's like shaped into a ball, every enemy it rolls over is going to kill them and absorb them and get stronger. That's why I would wait until the end game, get the Clock Lancet leveled up, level up the silver and the gold rings, make sure you evolve the Clock Lancet into the Infinite Corridor weapon, and that way, every time that pulses, is going to halve the enemy's health. Every single enemy in the game that's on your screen, it will half the health, unless they've got some form of a resistance against it. So basically, over time, this Sketamari is going to essentially level itself up and get stronger. So what you need to do, unless you're going in and you're doing it really quick, the way I found success, and I actually did it my first time doing this, is to level up that Clock Lancet, get it evolved into the Infinite Corridor using the gold and the silver rings at max level, and then you are good to go. You just stay near the ball, it eventually dies, and when it does die, you just pick up the Forbidden Scrolls of Morbane, and you have yourself the Secrets menu that you can use at the main menu to unlock some secrets in the game, like secret playable characters. And that's going to do it for this video. That was how to find the Forbidden Scrolls of Morbane in Vampire Survivors. Check out this video if you want to see other Vampire Survivors on the channel. I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.